please describe your job title and primary duties. Well, I was a subway cashier, so I guess the main thing involved in it was just ringing up customers when time came, sandwich finished up. But, um, you know, in the back helped out with uh, packaging and things like that, moving stuff around. Mostly it was just uh, involved with the register. Please describe a typical day as an employee. I guess uh, coming in mostly when you clock in, get everything ready, then, uh, you know, from there, it's pretty slow in the beginning. Have a little fun with uh, the other workers and stuff. But other than that, it's just mainly you're sitting behind the register trying to also help out the sandwich artists and anything else that you need in the back. But yeah, most of the days, just you're near the register and just trying to ring people up, especially then as lunchtime comes up, you know, it's getting really busy. So you're trying to like, just make sure you're getting everything down without messing any orders up and trying to figure it out. So sometimes you get a little chaotic. But then as the day wraps up, then you know, you get a little, it's the same thing really. So it's a very mundane and uh, tedious thing, but it's a very repetitive thing as well, so. How would you describe the application and interview process? Um, it was a written application that we turned in, then I guess you got a call back or a second part of the interview, which was like well, with the manager of the store. That was pretty simple, laid back, nothing too fancy about it. Uh, so it was pretty easy going. What questions did the interviewer ask during the job interview? Uh, I guess one of the main things they were just trying to see experience and not necessarily job, but just your background experience as a high school student, just trying to see what you've done, if you'll fit in, and how your work ethic is based on your other things. So I guess that was the main slow of the interview questions. What set you apart from other candidates? I actually had a friend who worked at the same place. I think just that referral and that trust really, you know, helped the manager. Okay, I don't have to worry about bringing a totally new face into the company. At least someone can vouch for him. And if he's vouching for him, then there has to be something. There's a reason someone's vouching for him. So I'm putting his job online too. So I think that helped a lot. So. What other advice would you give to a job seeker looking to get employment? I think, you know, even as a job with Subway, where I guess it's not much like professionalism necessarily involved, you should stay as professional as you can, which even coming in an interview, you should, you know, dress as you're going to be interviewing for some big company too. It's just, just uh, make sure they know that you're serious about the whole thing too. And you're not just there just to have fun over the summer and just try to make some cash right at it, you know, put all your effort into it as well. And it's not too hard of a job, but I mean, just put if you put everything into it, then you'll get everything else out of it that you need. So.